Good evening and welcome to Live Lent, God's Story, Our Story, a series of stories, prayers and meditations for the evenings of Lent. Today is Monday the 27th of February and this evening our theme is Jesus the Storyteller. Our opening music was Paul Mealer's To Seek Where Shadows Are. Draw us, Lord, to yourself by the power of your Spirit. Quieten our hearts and minds as we approach in worship. Hold us in the love of your Son as we follow him through temptation to the cross. Journey with us, Lord. Lord, tonight we seek your face and forsake our empty hours. Tonight we seek you above all things. Lends us, Lord, from all that distorts your image in us. In your mercy, forgive us. From all that divides us from one another and from you. In your mercy, forgive us. For our satisfaction with less than the truth. In your mercy, forgive us. For any dishonesty in thought and action. In your mercy, forgive us. For worship that is unworthy of you. In your mercy, forgive us. May the Lord forgive us and grant us peace in our hearts and lead us by the Spirit this night and always. Amen. And so we come to Jesus the Storyteller and our Bible reading this evening comes from St Matthew's Gospel, chapter 13. Jesus spoke all these things to the crowd in parables. He did not say anything to them without using a parable. So was fulfilled what was spoken through the prophets. I will open my mouth in parables. I will utter things hidden since the creation of the world. Thanks be to God. Jesus was a master storyteller. In the Synoptic Gospels, Matthew, Mark and Luke, he is recorded as telling 35 stories called parables. Many of these, the Good Samaritan, the Prodigal Son, are still well known by many people who otherwise have little knowledge of Christianity. But why did Jesus choose to communicate through parables? Perhaps because the Christian message is not so much a series of propositions to receive in the mind, important though that is, but a new story to be engaged in the imagination. As Hannah Steele writes in Living His Story, if evangelism is first and foremost an invitation to enter into God's story, then the parables can help us picture what it means to enter into and receive this new kingdom. Parables can provide us with a precious window into this alternative way of being in the world, revealing the extraordinary through the ordinary. Over the next few days, we will be looking at some of those parables. And now we pray together the words that Jesus himself taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. 
Dear Jesus, thank you for the parables which open up our imaginations to the wonders of your kingdom. Please help us to live your kingdom story every day of our lives. Amen. At this evening hour, may the Christ who walked on wounded feet walk with us on the road. At this evening hour, may the Christ who serves with wounded hands stretch out our hands to serve. At this evening hour, may the Christ who loves with a wounded heart open our hearts to love. May, Amen. May the Lord hold you in his loving arms May he grant you restful sleep and peace in your hearts. May he bless you and keep you safe this night and forevermore. Amen.